Does everything go out of here by truck? For Senator Tim Kaine and Petersburg Mayor Sam Perm. You can drive anywhere on the East Coast in less than one day. Location, a big reason Civica Pharmaceutical decided. Petersburg, we're bringing in jobs. We're bringing in uh, more economic development. But you see how it works. For yes. Petersburg, the investment by Civica and the other two pharmaceutical plants is big business. This is the biggest economic development activity we've had in Petersburg in over 40 years. Each finishing line is a U. Civica says through innovation, they can reduce the cost of making medications. Civica has a, has a vision that if they can capture the vision, they can cut the, the cost by 90 percent. And so that's going to be good for patients. We're committed to driving the cost down and we're committed to making things in the U.S. and we're committed to supplying drugs that are on the drug shortage list. Civica is a nonprofit that currently offers 60 different medications, but this is their first manufacturing facility. And while good for Petersburg and Central Virginia, this is really important to the local economy, but the products that are created here and the manufacturing processes that are being worked on in Central Virginia are going to end up reducing the cost of pharmaceuticals around the world. Its success, Senator Kane says, will cut into medications being manufactured in China. I think most of us feel better about the quality when it's made here at home. Uh, but we definitely feel better about the security of it. It's made here at home. Success for all three pharmaceuticals in Petersburg is being tied to developing a unique workforce. John Tyler, Richard Bland, Virginia State and VCU are all working together to accomplish that. Civica says when they open in early 2024, they'll be manufacturing three forms of insulin and they expect the cost to be 90% less than the list price.